Hello, I'm Dave, and welcome to Show Me Your Winner. Today, we're going to be talking about the first game in the NBA Championship Series between the Boston Celtics and the Dallas Mavericks. And of course, when I talk NBA, I have to have the best NBA cappers in the entire world on my show, or at least I think so. And I have one, my buddy, my colleague, we've done a lot of things together. We've met up in person, even though we live about a half a country away. Either way, it's my buddy LJ from Houston. Take it away with this game, Celtics Mavs. Nice to have me on here, Dave. Uh, yeah, uh, very intriguing matchup. We have finals coming over here, Celtics and Dallas. And I believe that both teams deserve to be in this situation. Uh, even though Boston had a little bit more easier route, as some would say, and that's why I'm leaning more as Dallas to win this series, simply because I believe they've been more battle tested. And they played the tougher competition. So that just sums up for us my pick of the series. But as far as the total, I'm going to go to the first half over, Dave. And this is why. Simply because Dallas is 4-1 and one to the first half over their last five games. Boston is 3-1-1 one and one to the first half over in their last five games. Both of these teams shoot the three very well. We do know Boston. First quarter points, number one in the NBA. First half points, number one in the NBA. And they're number one in three-pointers made at home at 17 made per game. Now, Dallas is 14 three-pointers made per game, which is top five as well. So both of these teams can shoot the ball, and they're going to depend on that three-point shot. More Boston more so than Dallas, because that's where Boston thrive on, hitting that three-point shot. And how I got to the total is that it is 110 and a half. And since the second round, both of these teams – Boston has been averaging 58 points in the first half. Dallas has been averaging 56 points in the first half. They get you at a 114, which puts you over that first half total, 110 and a half. I believe that the whole game will go over as well, full game, but I can't trust it because Boston tends to let off the gas and get complacent at times during the game at the end. But I believe they come out strong in the first half, and I believe both teams, considering how much rest they have, they're going to work out a lot of kinks, putting up shots, you know, a lot of missed shots as well. But I believe they will score enough points to put that total over first half, 110 and a half. I love it. I, um, you know, beginning of the playoffs, we saw a lot of first half unders. That was a thing until it wasn't. And then we've seen scores just absolutely blow up. The past few years, actually, unders have been the trend in the playoffs in a multiple different ways, multiple different trends. I've backed off totals, but I do like that. I think both teams come out fast and furious, um, as we were talking about before. I'm not going to give it out on this show. I do like a player prop. My favorite player prop of the entire playoffs revolves one of those players that can score. But either way, uh, if you want those picks, my information's down south in the description. I'm also going to put LJ's. If you want his picks, he's on Twitter. He's on multiple shows, giving out his information. Thanks so much, buddy. For coming on the show do you want to say anything before we get out of here hey man let's just keep cashing and getting this money all right thanks guys for watching hit the like subscribe to the channel share the video and we will see you tomorrow